Hello guys, a very warm welcome to the session. This is Shweta Roy, your English master teacher at Vedantu. So guys, today we are going to start with a very, very, very interesting chapter from the diary of Anne Frank. And I am guaranteeing you after going through this chapter, you would really, really fall in love with the story. Because yes, guys, this is a story which is based on the life of Anne Frank. Okay, so if you now this is just an excerpt, guys, from the diary of Anne Frank. The name itself, the title itself suggests that uh, this is just an excerpt from the diary that Anne Frank actually wrote, where, which uh, which which chronicles her life. Okay, when she was hiding because of the Holocaust that was going on during uh, the World War. Right. And Hitler and Nazis rising to power. Right, guys. So how she spent her life in in a complete lockdown. We also can relate to her situation because we also did so right. Uh, you know, we are still somehow, you know, uh, living our life in restriction. Right. So let's let's understand what was the situation like today. We have so many gadgets surrounding us. So we can easily, you know, while our time, but still we sometimes feel so very suffocated. We used to feel suffocated when we were in a very strict lockdown situation. Right, guys. So what about that time when there were no such gadgets? Uh, there were, uh, you know, no uh, science was not so advanced. So what happened with Anne Frank? How did she, uh, you know, spend her? Uh, how did she spend her lockdown days? Right. And that is that is what is going to really, really motivate all of us. And, you know, she was just a uh, teenager like you people. So from the diary of Anne Frank, Anne Frank is actually a very young girl. So being teenagers, guys, you could really, really relate to her life story so much. OK, so I'm sure you would really enjoy the entire session today. OK. So let me see the Josh, everyone. How's the Josh? Please give it to me in the chat, everyone. Okay, so from the diary of Anne Frank, that's the chapter that we are going to delve into slowly. Those of you who do not know me, I am your English master teacher, Shweta Roy. I have pursued my master's in English and BA. And talking about my other educational qualification. I have also qualified CTED and I have mentored more than 20,000 students both online and offline. Okay? And my motto, yes, my motto is to unleash the power within you. So all of you are empowered. And after today's session, guys, while you, uh, while you, you know, sit in today's session, while you watch the session, you would really, really feel empowered because you can also express your thoughts, your opinions, your feelings, right, in the chat box. So please don't forget to do that while you are in the session. Okay. And that is what you, that is where you are heard. Maybe as teenagers, you might feel that nobody listens to us. I'm sure you would feel that, right? Same with Anne Frank. She also felt so. And that is why she expressed all her feelings freely in her diary. So guys, you have the power to, uh, you know, you have the power to express yourselves freely. And language is the medium. Literature is the medium which, hel which will help you to do that. Same with Anne Frank also. Same with you also. Right, guys? So please put it down in the chat that you are empowered. Okay, so this is the weekly schedule, guys. Quickly have a look, okay? Uh, and if you want, you can take a screenshot, guys. All right, so chalo, do not miss out on any session. If you have missed out, please go ahead and, you know, go, uh, go back and watch the session, okay, which you have missed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any important notification. So go ahead and don't forget to hit the bell icon. All right. So here you go with the word of the day. Scrimmage given by Atira Raghavan. A very big round of applause for Atira. It means a confused struggle or fight. Super. 
superb superb thank you so much and he has also used she has also used this in a sentence there was a considerable scrimmage with people anxious to obtain caps okay so you can also use this particular word in your own sentences guys come on give me your sentences right away in the chat please scrimmage means a confused struggle or fight so how would you use this in a in your sentences come on people give me your sentences in the chat right now make your sentence hurry up and also at the end of the session i want each one of you to post your word of the day okay so that we can take your word for the next session all right i have another interesting game that's a riddle so what is the riddle let me let me read it out to you a monkey a squirrel and a bird are racing to the top of a coconut tree who will get first the sorry who will get the banana first the monkey the squirrel or the bird think about it okay think about it use your common sense and we will discuss the answer at the end of the session theek hai chalo so now we would be moving ahead with and frank so you would be uh, obviously this is a very very interesting information to you and is just a nickname the real name is analyst mari frank that's the that's the full name of ann frank okay and is a nickname okay now she was a dutch german dutch diarist of jewish heritage okay so one of the most discussed jewish victims of the holocaust as i told you she had spent her days in hiding okay so she gained uh, she gained fame when her diary was published okay what's the diary what's the name of the diary guys the diary of a young girl that's the original uh, it was actually originally in dutch but it was translated to english theek hai so the, the diary of a young girl okay and english the secret annex okay In the book, she documents her life in hiding from 1942 to 44. So that was the the period when you know uh, the Second World War bo uh, was going on, right? Uh, 39 to 39 to 45. That's the period for Second World War. Yes. So yes, uh, Hitler's rise to power and their ethnic cleansing, right? So Holocaust. they were wiping away all the jews and that was what they called uh, as ethnic cleansing because they believed that germans were the only superior race they were the pure aryan race and the jews were persecuted okay so they had to spend their time uh, they had to spend uh, their life in hiding right so during the german occupation of netherlands so when the german had occupied netherlands she had to also along with her family she had to hide and she uh, you know documented her life in hiding during that period of time in her diary so we actually get a complete glimpse of that period of time yes okay and uh, it is one of the world be world's best known books and has been uh, the basis for several plays and films and if you get an opportunity guys if you remember i had made a video where i talked about the books that you must read and in that list i had also included the diary of a young girl it's a really wonderful read how many of you have already read the full diary give me a quick high five in the chat so in case you haven't guys i would really recommend you to go ahead and read the full diary you will really love it okay so that's how we are going to have the session we are first delving into the summary followed by the vocabulary quiz and then wrapping the session up with homework question please stay tuned throughout the session we have amazing quiz questions guys only and only for you people please participate wholeheartedly in the session throughout the session would you promise me okay so let us begin with a quick summary of the chapter paper has more patience than people a very important and an off quoted statement from this particular chapter what do you think guys is it true do you also believe that paper has more patience than people what does it mean what does it actually mean so and frank thought of this statement when she was alone at home wondering whether to go out or not remember she was hiding right so she decided not to go out and thought about writing a diary 
Now the question that you have over here is paper has more patients. What does this imply? That's the question for you. This implies that Anne believed in the power of writing more than speaking, felt that she could pour her heart out on paper without any hindrance, had more faith in sharing her thoughts and feelings with paper, felt that she could share her feelings openly on paper. What do you think? The, you, can, you, you must be thinking there are more than one appropriate answer, but you have to select the best out of the four. So what's your answer, guys? Okay, let us check in three, two, one. Here you go with the answer. She felt that she could pour her heart out without any hindrance. Okay, so paper had more patience than people. So therefore, she could pour all her feelings out in the paper and the paper would be patiently listening to her without any hindrance. The paper would not provide any hindrance. Okay, Shalo. Now, what she needed was a friend. So she had a lot of friends, but not a friend on whom she could openly share her feelings and pour her heart, heart out. Okay, so she could not uh, rely on her friends, right? So she did not mean that she was lonely. Rather, Anne had a loving family and 30 people she could call friends. But not someone uh, to whom she can pour out all her feelings. And that place was taken by her diary, whom she named as Kitty. Okay. So with friends, she felt talking about ordinary things and talking about uh, and having a good time rather than talk about her secrets. Okay. So for this, for pouring out her feelings, she chose diary, her diary which was gifted by her father on her 13th birthday. And she felt that she could pour out her innermost feelings, which she could never share with her friends, right? And therefore, she was, uh, she decided to start writing a diary. It was a very strange experience. Why? Because she had never written anything before. This was for the first time that she was writing a diary and Secondly, she also did not believe that anyone would be interested to read what she had to say because she thought that she was very immature being just a girl of 13, a young teenage girl who would be interested in her broodings, right? That's what she thought. But today we all are super interested in the entire diary that she had written and the beautiful quotes that we can actually collect from her writing shows her maturity. Right. So you can get a question like, why was writing a diary a strange experience for her? This is a very important question and, a oft -repeat, uh, and an oft repeated question in your paper. So, guys, these two points you have to mention. These two points are the answer. I mean, that these two points you would be incorporating in the answer for this particular question. OK, so please take a note of this. OK, so then uh, she felt like writing. Right. Although it was a strange experience, but she then felt that she should write and she felt the great need to get things off her chest. Very, very important. And that's what I meant by pouring out her innermost feelings. OK, what does it mean by get things off her chest that when your heart feels heavy, when you keep accumulating all your feelings inside your heart, your heart feels heavy and you want to share something with uh, with a person. But as she thought that paper had the only patience to actually listen to her broodings and listen to her innermost feelings. So therefore, she thought it, uh, you know, better to pour it out on paper. And that's when she started writing her diary. I'm sure, guys, all of you being teenagers also sometimes feel that you are, you are, you know, heavy on your heart. So that, that can be definitely, definitely shaken off. That burden can be released. How? If you start putting your thoughts on pen and paper, not only would you feel relieved and relaxed, you would also start developing that writing skill. So, guys, 
I'm sure this diary is going to really motivate you to start writing your diary. So how many of you already write a diary and have a personal diary? How many of you do have? Give me a quick thumbs up in the chat. Give me a quick high five in the chat. And those of you who do not, I would again recommend you to maintain a diary, guys. Okay? So then her diary was named as Kitty and it was her best friend. She began by giving a brief introduction to her family because obviously she could not start directly. She had to first lay the background, right? So as if she is introducing her family to her friend. That's how she wrote the diary. Okay. Her parents were Otto and Edith Frank. They had emigrated to Holland. Anne and her sister Margot were raised by their grandmother. So the relationship of Anne and her family is very important for your question also. Especially with her grandmother. Because you, you actually get a question. A lot of questions related to Anne's relationship with her grandmother. Okay. So question is question now for you people how does she want to begin her diary writing her name giving an introduction writing about her hobby none of the above very very simple come on people let me see how many of you have how many of you can do this correctly yes so three two one let's have a look at the correct answer yes it is by giving an introduction so she began writing a diary by introducing her family members okay her grandmother went uh, underwent an operation in 1941 and the next year she passed away. So she, uh, Anne was re really very deeply impacted after her grandmother's death. She often thought about her. Now the question that you have is in which city were Anne and Margot sent to live with her grandmother? Berlin, Aachen, Munich, Bonn. This is again a very important question. You are often asked this question. Okay, have you all given your answers, guys? Let us see how many of you could get it correct. Three, two, one, let's go. Archen, yes. Please note, Anne and Margot were sent to live with her with their grandmother in this place called Archen. That's the name of the city. Okay. Now, having made in introductions, she wrote to Kitty on 20th June 1942. Her entire class was terrified of the upcoming teachers meeting. PTM you also have, right? How many of you are terrified? <laughs> okay, so uh, in this meeting, the teachers would decide who would move to the next grade and that's the reason for her fear. Okay, so Anne, irritated by her classmates, wrote that at least a quarter of the class deserved to fail. And that's why she thought that teachers are very, very unpredictable creatures on earth. She knew that teachers were very unpredictable. Why? Because according to her, at least a quarter of the class deserved to fail. But obviously that did not happen. For herself, she was not too worried because all that she could do is wait and not lose her heart. Right? She believed that she would get along with all the teachers except her mathematics teacher, Mr. Keezing. Why? Because he used to get annoyed at her because she was very, very talkative. How many of you are talkative? I think all of you are talkative over here, right? So how many of you could relate to this particular incident of Anne Frank? And how many of you have got punished because of your talkative nature in the class? Give me a quick thumbs up and give me a quick high five. Even I had been punished. My punishment was I used to always be picked up and made to sit in the first bench. That was really, really very bad punishment. How many of you could relate to it? So go back to your school time, guys, and think about the punishment that you have. And let me know in the chat box. And now let us delve into the punishment that Anne Frank received for talking. Extra homework. Kisi ko mila hai aisa punishment? How many of you have got extra homework as your punishment? Okay. So her homework was to write an essay on the subject, a chatter box. Because she used to chatter a lot. Right? So that evening Anne thought over the topic. All right. She wanted to come up with a convincing argument. So from the very beginning, we can actually understand that uh, she had a potential of creativity. 
yes she was very creative by nature that is why she was trying to think about the answer to the question she wanted to convince mr kiesing by her argument she did not get offended by the homework rather she wanted to actually create something right okay so why one should talk rather than write an unnecessarily long essay so she wanted to write something really really substantial arguing why what is the necessity of talking have you ever thought about this guys so next time when you are punished because of uh, because of your talkative nature try to think about this topic and write something okay that would really really be helpful and you would actually enjoy the process just like anne frank did so she argued that she inherited this habit from her mother and there was nothing that she could do about her inherited traits first of all she also said that talking is something which uh, which is there in the students right and the second uh, point is that she had inherited this from her mother right so guys uh, you would be asked uh, to write about the arguments that she had mentioned in the first essay so please note it down now mr kiesing enjoyed this argument but he again assigned her a second essay okay when she talked through his class again mr kiesing again enjoyed her second essay so much that he felt that he left her alone for the next two lessons however when caught talking in a lesson after that he had assigned her her third essay and what was that interesting topic see quack 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 said mrs Ch mistress chatterbox that's the final essay and the topic as you can see is very very funny hilarious as well as interesting the entire class obviously laughed at this title and laughed too so definitely we can see from here that uh, this particular homework and you know this entire process of giving homework with funny titles and and actually coming up with con convincing argument so this talks about the teacher pupil rapport that was uh, that was being built up over here right so uh, mr kiesing also was enjoying her answers and her arguments right okay so then she decided that this time she would be coming up with something original in verse right and what did she do she took a friend's help and she wrote a poem about her family of ducks and what was the substance or what was uh, the topic of the poem three baby ducklings were bitten to death by their father for quacking too much right so this was the funny poem that she had constructed obviously she, uh, she was taunting her 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 um, target or her aim was taunting mr kiesing but mr kiesing did not get offended guys he did not get offended rather he read the poem aloud in the class and the poem was received too well and after that and could talk in the class and he was not assigned she was not assigned any extra homework so this also actually justifies the point that uh, that ann had teachers are quite unpredictable so do you think mr kiesing was very unpredictable here right he who had actually given a who who used to get angry at ann because of her talkative nature now is allowing her to talk and also not assigning an extra homework right so kind of true right yes okay so ann humorously confides in in kitty mr kiesing jokes often after that okay so she talk keeps talking about mr kiesing right guys so this is the vocabulary guys i hope you people did enjoy the entire story yes or no guys okay so this is the vocabulary let us quickly have a look at the vocabulary important vocabulary guys musings musing means a period of reflection or thought thought process musing brooding same okay these two are same things listless you must have come across in tramp of surgery no energy no interest okay prompted is provoke okay confide very important an oft repeated word asked in your uh, papers okay to tell somebody uh, some uh, person privately okay so um, 
and then we have plunge emigrated important word for you leaving one's own country to settle to another country okay that is emigration immigration is settling the process of settling is immigration emigration is leaving out okay these are the opposites plunged is to put down and then uh, you can go through this incorrigible is important guys incorrigible means not able to be changed incorrigible chatterbox okay and then ingenuity very important word mostly asked in your question okay the quality of being clever original and inventive please note these word meanings down and with that guys i would like to remind you and i would like to give you a happy news that vedanta students have performed amazingly well in je main 3 hundred percentile guys physics chemistry mathematics 27 students scored 99.9 plus percentile and 6 674 students scored 99 plus percentile a big round of applause for our superstars yes guys so if you want to join us for ntse subscription guys you can definitely definitely join us and vedantu is launching vedantu has already launched india's first live ntsc crash course so you would be getting mathematics physics chemistry bio mental ability social studies and you can see it 139 selections in ntsc 2020 to 21 and still counting which is the highest selection for from any institute so you can be the next one guys yes it is absolutely possible 60 plus hours of live classes and tied uh, on the entire syllabus both stage 1 and 2 by ntsc experts 60 plus chapter wise and 14 plus mock test to make you test ready and classes taught live will also be recorded and will be shared with you you can also ask unlimited doubts inside the class and also in vedantu's app post class isn't that very interesting guys and you can get all the solutions in depth solution and analysis of the previous years ntsc papers along with that you can get the summary notes key concepts important formula and class recording using this coupon code is going to give you a complete 10% discount so what are you waiting for guys visit the link that you can see there right in the description box and pinned comment and don't forget to use the coupon code swre pro so that you get an additional 10% discount so now we are moving ahead we are heading towards the answer for the riddle so have you got the answer for this riddle guys what's your answer let us match the answer with the one that you have got and let's see how many of you could actually guess the correct answer none of them because you cannot get a banana from a coconut tree <laughs> so did you enjoy this guys yes so we will be coming up with many more amazing sessions please do hit the like button share the video comment on the homework question and don't forget to subscribe to the channel in case you haven't so that you do not miss out on any important notification now the homework question is and called 26 july a tumultuous day why explain the reason please post your answers in the comment section please don't forget to do that and get a chance to be the next homework rocker okay Thank you so much guys I hope you people did enjoy the session and you did enjoy the story if possible go through the entire diary you will really relate to it so very much you'll enjoy reading it you'll be absolutely glued to it okay so thank you so much guys till then take care and bye bye see you again in the next session